A public safety meeting held at Burton Elementary and Middle School. It comes after two incidents where guns were found in the possession of two students in the last 90 days. News 8's Amanda Porter went to that meeting and joins us tonight in studio with the details. Amanda. Parents spoke up about safety. Some saying they want metal detectors and clear backpacks at Burton Middle School. Parents, teachers, and administrators at Burton Elementary and Middle School are banding together to find solutions to prevent guns in classrooms. In January, a loaded gun was found on a student after a parent contacted the school. It's literally been two times in 90 days. I fear for my son. I fear for everyone else's ch children. Another weapon was found in October when a school resource officer confiscated an unloaded gun, a magazine, and ammunition. You guys have a lot of security, but you don't know everything that's coming in here. A lot of it starts at home. The parents aren't controlling their children. Parents like Kathy Bender want more measures in place to prevent guns in classrooms. My request is to be to put metal detectors and the engines. Okay, that's our request for today. Because this school already has a red flags. If it, if it, if it's not done, it's gonna be a mass shooting, or and we don't want that. Your safety, our kids' safety, that's the most important thing. Clear backpacks and metal detectors were mentioned several times. There's research that shows that there is some effectiveness of random and unannounced weapon searches as it relates to schools. So the fact is metal detectors are a way to, de to deter individuals from bringing weapons into a school environment. I would agree. Safety, everyone agreed, is the most important. <laughs> and doesn't just fall on the school. Check their backpacks if you have to check, you know, just check on them. We have, as much as they have responsibility when they're here, we have a responsibility when they're at home. Administrators say communication is the first step to make Burton safer. I think it's important to make sure that we get all different ideas and we are looking at various different models of what is going to be the best, most effective way. And again, there's nothing that's foolproof, but it's important to have a combination of different structures, both technical structures, but then also those relationship structures that will keep children safe in our schools. Tonight's public safety meeting is just the beginning of finding solutions to prevent weapons in classrooms. Burton Middle and Elementary School will continue to have security guards on their campus. Amanda Porter, News 8.